Good morning. The cable industry is reinventing itself. You're no longer just distributing TV channels. Uh, you're providing high-speed broadband internet service and also rolling out Wi-Fi pretty much everywhere. Now, the question is, can you do more with this valuable infrastructure? And the answer is yes. With Venium, you can bring mobility to Wi-Fi. And the way we do it, you can see on this video from Porto, Portugal, where I grew up and where we did our first city-scale deployment. We basically turn vehicles into mobile Wi-Fi hotspots. We connect them to each other and to the internet through your cable network via the existing Wi-Fi infrastructure and V2X access points. Now, by doing this, we are actually enabling you to make money in three new ways. One, you can operate mobile Wi-Fi hotspots that expand wireless coverage and give new opportunities for branding and advertising. In Porto today, we have 210,000 users of mobile Wi-Fi in public transit. That's two out of three commuters uh, in the city of Porto. Number two, you can become the operator for connected vehicles. All the data from the onboard diagnostics unit that needs to be sent, all the footage from surveillance cameras that needs to be in the cloud can go through your network. And number three, Using the vehicles as mobile sensors, you can become a smart city operator, enabling this data to get to the cloud in the most cost-effective way and powering all sorts of smart city applications, many of which we have yet unseen. Now, let's see how the technology works. In a city, as you roll out Wi-Fi, the type of coverage that you get is more or less like this. Each access point has a range of about 100 feet, uh, which means that if I'm a user and I'm standing with my smartphone, it works pretty well. But if I'm walking or if I'm in a car, it really doesn't work because it takes a lot of time to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot and to send data. Now, with our technology, uh, you can actually use the 5.9 gigahertz band that has been reserved for vehicles in the US, in Europe, in, in Asian countries, in more and more countries around the world, and is so far underutilized. So that gives you a range of up to 10 times normal Wi-Fi for vehicles. And as you roll this out, in fact, you can now use the vehicles themselves as mobile Wi-Fi hotspots. How? Well, the vehicle connects to the access point using DSRC or V2X uh, technology in the 5.9 gigahertz band. Uh, and now it's an access point for other vehicles as well. So using Venium's mesh networking technology, this vehicle now connects to the first one, and each of them is now also a Wi-Fi hotspot in the usual Wi-Fi frequency ranges, allowing you uh, to connect all sorts of different devices. So that's 10 times longer range than classical Wi-Fi, 100 times faster connection setup, and overall a cost of 12 times uh, less uh, per gigabyte than a cellular alternative. And all of this with a small device that you can actually put in any vehicle and has all the wireless interfaces that you require uh, to be able to operate a mesh network of connected vehicles. So let's do that. Let's connect to Porto and see our network in action. And in fact, one of my colleagues, Diogo Carrera, is waiting for our call. And here we are, Porto, Portugal. Here Hello, Cabalex. The bus. My name is Diogo Carreira, and I'm a system engineer at Trenium. It's 5.45, and I'm calling you in the bus in Porto, Portugal. I'm using the Wi-Fi service on the bus to connect to the internet. Thank you so much, Juan. Well, back to you. There you go. And Diogo is in a bus in Porto right now. As you can see, the weather is pretty good. And uh, the beauty of it is actually the bus is connecting to all these different access points, uh, only using cellular when it's out of the network. And Venium's technology allows perfect handovers f f across all these different technologies and across all these different service providers. So let's look at our network operations center now that actually shows you how it works. So this is a live picture of what is happening in Porto right now. So all the buses, it's afternoon rush hour there. Uh, all the buses are uh, going around. And as you can see, they connect to our access points, and they connect to each other and form the mesh. And our dashboard is able to show you how many of them are online, how many are connecting through the uh, vehicle network and the cable operator, uh, and how much traffic is going um, from our users back uh, to the internet and returning. And we also get events where we can see everything that is happening with the different devices as part of the network. 
Going further, we have our smart city dashboard for various applications. So one of them is smart garbage collection. In Porto, several containers have different little sensors that tell you if they're full or not. And basically, this, with Wi-Fi, uh, they can connect to our vehicles. So basically, the buses, taxis, and garbage collection trucks, all together, we have more than 600 vehicles. That's the largest vehicular network in the world. These vehicles ask the containers, are you full or not? And then send this information to the cloud uh, in delay-tolerant fashion, because actually, you don't need to know it every second. It's enough to have it within one or two hours. The garbage collection trucks then only need to go to those containers that are actually full. And all this information doesn't have to go through cellular. It can go through the cable network uh, by using uh, the existing Wi-Fi infrastructure. In the next dashboard, uh, you see our uh, network operations where basically we are able to show also mobility patterns within the city from all these vehicles, get the data from the onboard diagnostics unit, and we can actually provide the end users with you know, bus speed, uh, average truck speed, depending on what kind of fleet they use. For those passenger fleets that are actually operating mobile Wi-Fi hotspots, we have all the user statistics uh, and basically can provide them for uh, the branding and advertising, also the expected return on their investment. And finally, uh, for the network operators, we have all the statistics of connectivity, backhaul, and how the network is actually providing a high-speed uh, internet service on the move using the existing cable infrastructure. So because of all this uh, uh, innovation, Venium, just in the last two months, actually won five major industry awards, including the scale-up award of the Wireless Broadband Alliance for our contribution to the wide spreading of uh, Wi-Fi, um, and also the Gardner Cool Vendor for smart cities. So now the question to you is, do you want, as an industry, for connected vehicles, IoT, smart city applications to be provided by over-the-top companies? Or do you want to be the ones actually leading these billion dollar markets and monetizing all these different revenue streams that are actually coming your way? Well, with Venium, you can lead the way to the internet of moving things. Thank you so much.